Now for a mini project. I got a set of outdoor speakers on my shed. And they hold up for a couple, three years, but they're not waterproof. They're water resistant. So I want to try to keep more rain off of them. And you can see my lip on here is only about four or five inches. So I want to build mini roofs over. Well, I got new speakers, a little bigger. I want to build mini roofs. I want to match the contour of the roof I have on my barn style shed. So, uh, got my new speakers. One by four, no, one by 12 by four foot piece of pine. And a couple of shingles. See what we can do. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. I made up a mock up of the inside diameter of the roof I want for the speakers, and it's 10 inches from left to right. And uh, the shed is 10 feet wide. So I measure that section up there. That's four feet. That's about three and a half feet. So uh, if I'm going 10 inches from 10 feet, I just gotta make these three and a half inches and four inches to match. And I gotta figure out the angles, match my saw up to those angles. And that should be good. Take my first angle measurement. Transfer that to the saw. All right, I got my saw way up, and I cranked it to match that angle, and it's just about. 15 degrees. Second angle, I measured at about 26 ish. All right, I measured my next angle, and I got 26 degrees. This is, I want four inches on the bottom. I'm going to mark the inside of the first angle to four inches, and that is where I'm going to want to set my blade. I think that's it. And I'm gonna follow follow the same angle with one end of the other two boards. These other two need to be three and a half from the inside. Make a little mark at three and a half. I'm 
I'm just gonna cut a straight lip on the end. There we go. So here it is roughly together. I don't know what I'm going to use to get the joints together. You could use pilot holes and screws. I'm definitely going to use glue at the joints. You could use an air nailer and some staples or some small nails. As long as you got glue on there, whatever will work. But I got one by 12. That might be sticking out a little much. I'm going to have a half inch overlap of uh, shingle up here. So I just want to cover the speaker by about two inches. So the speaker is about a little over eight, eight and a half, let's say, at the high point. The wood I got, one by 12, ends up being 11 and a quarter, eight and a half, nine and a half, ten and a half. I really want it to be about ten and a half or 11. So figure in a half inch overlap say 11 I'll probably cut these down to about 10 inches all right cut them down to 10 inches let me give it 10 and a quarter for good measure angle of the piece that I am going into and I got one and a quarter one and five eighths whatever whatever works throw the, I'm going to throw the screws in first then I'm going to make sure it lines up back them out put the glue in to make it permanent This one. <laughs> Must be Sunday afternoon. And one in the middle. make the top a little wider so the head doesn't split the wood. <clears throat> Alright, that looks pretty good. Back it up. Underbar. Glue it up. Put them back together.
let it dry a little bit and we'll put the shingles on. I like to give everything a light shine. It's not needed. It makes it a little neater. You could use a random orbit sand or hand sand, whatever. I'm actually going to paint, prime and paint the ends to match the shed, maybe the bottom too. Shingles will be on top so that don't matter, one end's going to be butted up against the shed so that don't matter, but I'll probably do that in blue. Primer. I was thinking of how to attach these to my shed. I'm gonna go into T111 siding, which is basically 5 8 plywood, I believe. And one thing I thought is these little angle irons. Just one there, one there. But then I thought for a more finished look and to reinforce the roof, I might just uh, trace out some wood with a pen here. A leftover piece of couple of pieces about one by twelve I could go straight across there but then the speaker would only go up so high so I think I might angle up somehow it'll give the roof a little more support uh, to cut that you could use a regular jigsaw but I am going to use my little $99 and so decided I'm gonna cut this section out just throw a couple of screws in there I'll be able to throw screws in here from the sides of the roof and here we go What I did was I pre-drilled these pieces in here. I got one screw there, one screw there, one screw there, one screw there. I made three pilot holes. I decided to use three screws because I got the other two coming down this way, one here, one here. So to miss those screws, these are going to be the screw holes that screw into the shed wall. Now I'm going to back the screws out, put a little glue like I do. Screw it back together, throw a little caulk in here, and then I'll prime and paint it. Now if I thought of this earlier, I would have done it before I painted this. But I didn't think of it earlier. Right, I got these painted up. I'll put primer here and the blue there. And the holes kind of closed up so Row. That's where I'll attach it to the shed. I still see the little knobs over there. shingles bugs all right I'm gonna cut sections of shingle out that should fit the roots pretty well Just whatever I need and it will flush with the back Have about a half inch overlap in the front and the side kind of bend it over 
here. I might put a little adhesive back here because I don't want nails to show there. You can nail it there. Put the next layer on. Probably just over that crease. Nail it down. The same thing from the other side. And then do a little bridge on top. Can use three quarter inch nails. And we'll see what it looks like. So, what I got is uh, roofs roughly attached. I'm gonna put a little, little bit of roof flashing cement on the top nails. And on the side where it's sticking out, I'm gonna put some flashing cement here and just use regular half inch staples to hold it in so it doesn't show so much of the big things. The big things aren't going to be, the uh, roofing nails aren't going to be noticed from the top because it'll be way up there. So uh, I'll let that dry overnight because it's nighttime. And I'll put it up tomorrow. See if I shed light going. So I put some adhesive roof sealant under those shingles. I think there are three staples. You can hardly see them. I covered them with black. Right there. Arr. And one fell in dirt. And I figured, hey, that's pretty good. Some dirt stuck to the top of that uh, sealant on the top. <laughs> I threw more dirt. So you can hardly see the sealant on the top. I let it sit overnight. I got it sitting on a little G. Let it dry and I'll mount them tomorrow. Hello, Stripe. I got my roofs over my speakers. Maybe a little weird, but kind of cute too. <laughs> 